first one is a hamstring stretch. The person lies flat down. And the goal is to try and get this leg straight, pushing on the knee to get the leg straight. You can support the uh, heel with your hand. Or as you're stretching, if you like, you can support it with your shoulder. This way. And then from there, you can lean into that to provide a deeper stretch. So that's the hamstring stretch, the uh, outer hip stretch, so the outside of the hip. foot goes on the knee and you're just rolling over putting some pressure on that knee. This arm can go straight out. So just putting a little bit of pressure on that knee to roll over. This stretch is not advised for somebody with a hip replacement. Okay, so that's the outer leg. And then quadricep. And you're just going to take bent knee and keeping that hip, hips up and down stacked, you're just going to pull the leg back. So your knees are no longer in line. This knee is pulled away from the other knee. And pulling back. That'll stretch your hip flexors. The muscles on the front of the hip, which get very tight with sitting. And then just going to release that stretch a little bit so the knees are more in line. Again, hips still stacked. Trying to push the knee the uh, heel towards the buttock. So with this, if your hand gets tired, you can just put your leg up against that stretch and just push forward with your leg. An alternate way of doing that is seated beside the person and then pulling holding the knee and pulling the foot back in. You can put something under the knee just to prevent hyperextension and holding the heel in your palm. You're just going to lean with your forearm Right here to stretch that calf out. You might find it more comfortable standing this way and pulling 